Are these budget friendly shoes from Amazon a good place to start or should you opt for the tried and true Vivo Barefoot? In this video, we're gonna find out. Thanks for joining me on this Road to Savage. I'm your host, Chris Savage, the functional performance coach for the last 10 years. Now, one of the first things that I have any of my clients do when we start training together is upgrade their footwear to one of the two shoes that I'm gonna show you here today. Now, if you're just getting started on this barefoot journey, and this is your first introduction to barefoot shoes, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you're here. And also that helps me find more people just like you who are interested in being a little bit more functional and having a little bit more performance in their life. Now, before I get into these shoes, I just wanna go over a quick overview of why we train barefoot to begin with and why it's so important for you to start to transition into barefoot shoe training. So the answer is actually quite simple. And I want you to think about this for a second. If you were to break your arm and you had a cast on this arm for let's say three to six months, when you took that arm out of the cast, it's going to be significantly smaller than the other arm that's been moving for three to six months. And that's because this arm has gone into atrophy through to unused muscle tissue. And atrophy is a breakdown of tissue. So that's only one joint that is no longer moving. Maybe two if this wrist is also bound by that cast. Now think about that for a second. That's one joint not moving and you've lost all of this weight and all of this muscle mass in that arm. Now we have 33 joints in our feet and when we are putting on our modern day shoes, we are actually constricting those feet just like we have a cast on them. And what happens there is that because they can't move and they can't articulate, your nervous system is actually gonna put the brakes on strength because its foundation, its base of support is not able to keep it steady. So let's go ahead and talk about these shoes. I'm gonna grade them in the following categories. Toe box space, flexibility, heat transfer, durability, style, comfort, and grip. So first up we have Witten, which can be found on Amazon for roughly around 50 bucks right now. Now these have actually been one of my favorite shoes over the last six months that I've been wearing them. And I've actually been pleasantly surprised with them. These are currently my everyday shoe. So let's talk about the toe box. Now overall, I think they did a really good job. They really hit the nail on the head with the big toe, how it comes straight up at the base of the toe where most modern shoes are gonna start to curve in right at the base of the toe. So really killed it here. However, I do think they fell short at the pinky side where I think it starts to hook in just a little too soon. Overall, I'd give that a four out of five. As far as flexibility goes, I think they absolutely crushed it with how flexible this shoe actually is. Now that is a pretty good roll up on there. Now what I think they also did really well was the fact that you can actually squish it going this way here, which is not super common on a lot of barefoot shoes. So very happy with the flexibility on this. I would give them a, probably a five out of five on that one. Good job. So let's talk about heat transfer real quick. Back when I lived in California, that really wasn't an issue. But however, these last two years here in Texas, it has really taught me a thing or two about bar barefoot shoes and the heat. So with heat transfer, I would say these do transmit quite a bit of heat coming from the floor. If you're standing or out walking for any, any period of time, I would say maybe if you were just going from like your car through the parking lot into like, let's say Target, uh, you probably aren't gonna have an issue, but however, if you are gonna be going outside to any kind of event, you definitely wanna either add an extra insert uh, for the sole or probably just put on something a little bit more traditional that does have a lot more cushion um, To block out some of that heat. So I would give that probably a three out of five So for overall comfort, I would definitely rate these a four out of five Like I said earlier in this video is I've been wearing these pretty much every day These are my daily shoes currently because they are very comfortable and they actually have a very breathable liner or a very breathable fabric here on the top. And the inside actually has a really nice liner um, that is nice and soft on the foot as well. And that, that liner goes all throughout the shoe, um, which I think helps give it its structure. So definitely killed it on the comfort level, uh, four out of five on this. So as far as style goes, I definitely would say these are probably like 
I would give them a five out of five. If you have seen other barefoot shoes, you know why. But these, I think for the most part, look like so your average sneaker. When you are wearing these out on the street, they just look like an average sneaker like everybody else is wearing. Nothing really fancy about it. They kind of just blend in. And for that, in a barefoot shoe, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. Um, but style is actually pretty limited in the choice and the var variations of this shoe beyond color. Grip on these shoes, I have to say I'm extremely impressed with. For a cheaper shoe, I did expect to have like a very uh, almost plasticky feel for the rubber on the bottom, which actually it's very gummy, very sticky, and uh, I don't slide around as much as I expected. As a matter of fact, it actually sticks pretty well to the ground. So like if I'm at the gym and I'm going to like, let's say the yoga studio with the wood floors and I'm trying to do some animal flow movements, I have to take these off to allow my feet to slide around a little bit because these do grip the floor like there's no tomorrow. So overall grip, I would definitely give these a five out of five. For durability, this is where the price point for me is gonna make the biggest difference. Now, I've been wearing these for the last, I would say six months. And in those six months, I would say within the first three months, I really start to feel them break down a little bit on the inside um, and overall losing some of its support. So for 50 bucks worth of shoe, you're definitely gonna need to get a few within the year um, to last you through the entire year. So I would say for durability, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one a three out of five. Now for the famous Vivo Barefoot, the tried and true, the OG, the top of the line, top priced barefoot shoes. They absolutely killed it with the toe box. As you can see, this one also goes straight up at the toes. However, where they really nailed it is, see over here where the pinky toe would be? It actually comes out a little bit more. It actually goes out and then it starts to hook back in. I would say probably where the pinky actually ends and hooks around coming to a little bit more of a point here at the end. Now this gives the toes plenty of room to naturally spread apart without giving you any crowding. Um, whatsoever. So I think they absolutely killed it with a toe box in this shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a five out of five. Now, as far as flexibility goes, Vivo absolutely kills it with the flexibility. You could actually roll these up. I know you see like pictures and videos of these all over the place, but that is a wonderful foot roll. <laughs> and it's got a little bit of spring too. Now, with that flexibility, like I showed you on those Wittens, the flex going this way is actually a little stiff. Now, I don't really feel it uh, restricting anything when I am moving around in them, um, but that stiffness was a little concerning to me initially. So overall, with flexibility, I would give them absolutely rocking it with a five out of five. Now, heat transfer on these things I would say is absolutely terrible. They are, well, because they're so thin, they're four millimeters thick on the sole, you're basically walking on bare feet out on the pavement. And out here in Texas, that is an absolute no for me. Now, that is not to say that their other models, like the hiking shoes and the hiking boots, aren't going to be better at that. I don't know because I have not tried those ones out. But if Vivo wants to send me a pair, I'll be more than happy to send the review on those when it comes time for summer again here in the next, I would say, six months. But overall, three out of five. So comfort on these shoes, I'm just going to go ahead and say it right off the bat, it's going to be a five out of five. I absolutely forget that I'm wearing these shoes most days. I actually will walk into my house and my wife will be like, hey, you need to take off your shoes. What are you doing walking inside of the house with your shoes on? And I look down, I'm like, oh crap, yes, I am still wearing these shoes. And that says a lot to the comfort factor of these shoes because the way they grip the foot, the way they wrap around and hug the foot, but still allow natural movement to happen is absolutely incredible. I think they absolutely crushed it on the comfort level. And again, five out of five, zero complaints on the comfort on this shoe. Now, as far as style goes for the Vivos, I would say they do a pretty good job with their training shoe. They do have uh, different color options on these. However, they do have a tremendous library of other shoes that may fit your style a little bit better. So they have training shoes, they have casual shoes, water shoes, hiking shoes, and they also have a little bit more of like a dressier shoe 
as well. So if you're looking for barefoot shoes that you could also wear to the office, wear out, Vivos are going to more than likely have a style that fits you and your use for them. So style wise, I would say based off of the variety, I'm going to give them a five out of five. As far as this shoe itself, still going to rock it with the five out of five because I wore these every day, no matter where, where rain or shine, I had no shame in my game. Five out of five for sure. Now grip on these shoes, I think overall the feel is going to be fantastic. However, when I was working on the turf pushing a sled, I was sliding all over the place in these shoes. Now that's not to say that the other versions aren't going to be a little bit more tactile. Like I said before, there's many options with the Vivos. And if I was going to go hiking, yeah, probably wouldn't wear these shoes, but I would probably wear the hiking shoes from Vivo. So they got you covered on that portion here. So these are very purpose built for training. However, I did find myself slipping on the turf and not able to push as much as I could on the sled. I ended up just kicking these off. So uh, grip wise, I would say four out of five. So I already told you on the Wittens that durability is a huge factor for me. Now these Vivos have done really well by me. This is actually my second pair of the Primus lights and the first pair lasted me over two years and now this one is about two and a half years in but i haven't been wearing them every day for the last year so with that being said these will last you years to come especially if you are not heavily using them the way i'm using them and i train about five to six days a week as well as training clients and demoing exercise so i'm standing in these all day long every single day Overall, with durability, I'm going to rate these, I would say like a 6 out of 10 because these things have absolutely held up to some heavy use, heavy abuse, and I would absolutely recommend them for anybody who's looking for a shoe that's going to last them longer than 6 months. Overall, I think both shoes are going to be a fantastic choice for you. If you have the money to go for the Vivos, I would say go for the Vivos because they do have a 100-day return policy and they are very committed to customer satisfaction and they will definitely and their support team will definitely take care of you. Now, however, if you are on a budget and you can't really spend that kind of money, Amazon is, does the try before you buy. So if you have the Prime membership with Amazon, you could try these shoes out. They will send them out to you at no cost. And if you don't like them, you could always return them. Now, working on a budget, I think the Wittens are going to be a fantastic choice. I, As you could clearly see in this video, they do perform very well in all of the categories that I had listed. And for 50 bucks, I don't think you could really go wrong with them. Now, the biggest question mark is what is your budget and is that going to hold you back from moving forward on barefoot training? And if budget is the issue, then go for the wins. Don't hold up, hold on any longer and start barefoot training today. Now, I hope that helped you. And I hope you found some value from this video and let me know in the comments down below, which shoe are you going to opt for today? Not tomorrow, not next week. Let's make a decision today. And you can find a link to both of those shoes down in the description below. And like always, stay savage, and I will catch you in the next one.